Britney Spears is finally speaking out and Kim Kardashian will not like it. Apparently, Britney Spears' current manager Kate Hudson shockingly attended Khloe Kardashian's birthday party and was seen getting so close with Kim Kardashian, which upset a lot of people wondering if Britney Spears' nightmare history is about to repeat itself of how her former manager Lou Taylor and Kim Kardashian teamed up to steal $600 million from her. If you don't know the details of that history, stay tuned because that's what we are getting into today. Anyways guys, Britney Spears is just so upset like the rest of her fans and she said to be unhappy about her manager linking up with Kim Kardashian because of what happened with Kim and her former manager and the amount of trauma it caused her. But sources say that amidst all of this, she will never allow that to happen again no matter how hard Kim tries or how close she gets to her manager because now she has control over her finances. Anyways, suspiciously enough, Kate Hudson, Britney Spears' manager, attended Khloe Kardashian's recently held birthday party. The reason it is suspicious is because he has no history of being friends with any of the Kardashians, but regardless, he was seen getting so close to Kim Kardashian and the two put on the show at the dance floor where he flipped Kim Kardashian more than two times as the two danced to Too Sexy by Drake and Feature. So Kim Kardashian posted their videos together and said that no recollection of this but thank you Kate Hudson. So apparently, I was doing this multiple times till we shut the party down. I wish something told me to have some shots before dancing with the stars and I might have lasted a bit longer. Here she was referring to when she joined the Dance with the Stars in 2008. Anyways, everything aside, the appearance of these two together getting too close and flatting became so problematic because apparently, Kim Kardashian has a bit of history when it comes to Britney Spears' managers and many people are worried that she wants a way again into Britney Spears' life to do more crimes. So the manager in question here is Lou Taylor, the infamous former Britney Spears business manager who played a big role in putting her in her pain full 13-year conservatorship. Britney Spears was basically controlled for 10 years and put on very heavy medication, mm -hmm. one of them being lithium. Your brain cannot come back from no. being from Well, let's first see what she said about her in her memoir, The Woman in Me. She said that her father, Jamie Spears, built up a very close relationship with Lou Taylor and would always worship her, and that relationship was built right before she went to court in 2008, where Britney's father would end up being her legal guardian. She was front and center during the implementation of the conservatorship that would later allow them to control and take over my career. Lou, who had just started a new company called Tristar Sports and Entertainment Group, was directly involved in calling the shots right before the conservatorship. At the time, she had a few real clients. She basically used my name and hard work to build her company. As we already know, neither was Judas Leach, who Britney also basically calls a spoil brat. That's how we all were with Jamie Lynn. You see it, you like it, you want it, you got it. As far as I could tell, her world was the Ariana Grande song Seven Rings Come to Life. Now, it is obvious that Britney dislikes Lou Taylor for what she did, and where it extends to Kim Kardashian is the fact that Lou Taylor had a relationship with the Kardashian's family, especially Kim Kardashian, who it is alleged that when Lou Taylor was in control of Britney's wealth as she was under conservatorship, transferred $600 million to Kim Kardashian, and that money was from Britney's accounts. How did the conversation go from Lou Taylor, Britney Spears' former business manager, stealing $600 million from her, to Kim Kardashian stealing $600 million from her? First and foremost, Lou Taylor came in contact with the Kardashians in 2019, succeeding Lester Nipsell to become the family's business manager, and it was alleged that Kim Kardashian tried to get her to help in putting Kanye West under a conservatorship like Britney Spears so that she could be in control of his money because of his rents, but they ended up failing at their plan. 
other than that connection, as of 2021, Lou Taylor and her company Tristar were involved in the management of several of the Kardashians' businesses, and her name was listed in the paperwork filed for KKW Fragrance LLC, King Kylie LLC, Kardashian Jenner Family Foundation Inc., and many more. However, their work relationship just got shadier from there. So there is a theory that when Britney's younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, became the trustee of Britney's SJB Trust, she began transferring money to an investment company called Stonebridge. In the middle of that, it is believed that she might have also sent $600 million to Lou Taylor, and that money ended up in Kim Kardashian's account years later. This money was later disguised to be the income generated by her skims company and that prompted some inside source to come out and say that apparently all of the various businesses owned by the car Jenners are money laundering machines which Lou Taylor helps them operate by inflating their earnings and providing stolen money. The car Jenners have taken multiple loans out through Lou Taylor to finance various assets and it's suspected that some of this money they borrowed was stolen stolen directly from Britney's estate. Anyways, there are some other reports that said that Lou Taylor used to launder money in Chris Jenner's church called California Community Church. That's not all, because Lou Taylor also helped several Carl Jenner sisters acquire loans, and it was all reportedly through illegal channels. Just last year, she helped Kim get a $48 million loan to be able to buy her Malibu home. She also helped Chloe to get a $7 million loan last year as well, and she also helped Kylie Jenner get a $7.5 million loan, among others. It was a horrible experience that Britney Spears lived, and up until today, people still feel sorry for her, even asking her to take legal action against them, with one person saying that all these monsters need to go to jail. Britney needs to sue them for stealing her money. Another one said that it is about time Britney go after them, while the last one said that Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. Who's protecting the Kardashians? So basically, long story short, according to all the bad things that the Kardashians did to Britney through her former manager, seeing her with her new manager again is upsetting a lot of people, wondering if she's seducing her way inside Britney's life and finances again to be able to steal her once more. For sure, it is a worrying situation, and like I mentioned, it even gets more suspicious when you remember that her manager being there, he doesn't have a history of friendship with any of the person who was at the party, which, according to the history, would give an impression that Kim Kardashian is trying to create a relationship with him to get inside Britney Spears' team again. Tell me what you think about this, and if you actually believe that this is the game that Kim is playing here, or if you think that them linking up was just innocent and nothing behind it. While you tell me what you think, don't forget to like and subscribe to always be kept in the loop of everything going on in the entertainment world.